We're looking at some specialized cervical vertebrae. The first one we're going to look at is the atlas, otherwise known as C1, or first cervical vertebrae. We see that probably the most noticeable thing is there's no vertebral body, and there's no spinous process posteriorly. However, we have an anterior arch that has an anterior tubercle, and a posterior arch with a posterior tubercle. We still see the transverse foramen for the vertebral artery and vein to provide blood supply to the brain. But we don't have the normal articulating pillars sticking up and down with facet joints. Instead, on either side to the lateral side, we have these large bits of bone, and we call those the lateral masses. And this is where the condyles of the occiput on the skull are going to ride. And then underneath, they're going to ride on C2, or the second cervical vertebrae. So let's take a look at the difference between C2 and the normal vertebrae. Here's our C2, and what we notice about it is it's got this little projection of bone. That's called the dens or odontoid process. And what that dens or odontoid process is made for is the atlas to actually ride right on top of that. And there is a ligament that connects behind the dens or odontoid process and this allows the vertebrae to actually rotate or spin around that axis of rotation.